Okay guys, welcome back to another YouTube video, and today we are building another train tutorial. Now, today we're going to be building a CNGE C44-9WL. And this is actually what it looks like. And, um, it's actually, uh, uh, this, you know this, like, gray world? Or this Canada? I don't know. I don't even know, it's just a shape. Something you'll see when you see pictures. You'll know what it is. Well, some numbers don't have it. A couple don't, but most of them do. And a couple of them might not have, say, BCOL down here. If it doesn't say BCOL down here, then don't add it. If there's no world thingy here like this, I don't even know what it is, actually. <laughs> but either way, if you don't see it on this on the number you have, but don't actually add it. Just leave it. I built number 2508, and I'm pretty sure it has both. But if it's not X BCOL, it doesn't say BCOL down here. I really don't add BCOL. It's similar to my GP38-2. How if it doesn't have a um, IC down here, don't add it. If it does, add it. I'm pretty sure there was another detail, but... I actually forget which one it was. Maybe it was a horn or something. I'm not, I'm not really sure. Some numbers have and some don't. If your number doesn't, don't add it. If it does, add it. But the rest of the details, make sure you add because that's what the train is supposed to look like. And anyway, let's get started on the tutorial. Now, if one side doesn't, one side doesn't. Then don't add on that side. I'm not really sure, but something with the BCOL. Well. Alright, either way, make sure you look up your number, by the way, for all the details and just know the details. And, um, so anyway, let's get started for real now. So let's start with a black concrete. And, uh, let's get another brick stairs as well. And basically add a 2 by 3 of black concrete. <laughs> I think I'm saying basically a lot. For real. Then we're gonna add a black concrete above. Basically. <laughs> Alright, enough with the basically jokes. Oh, so I think there's also this train as well. If it says BCOL down here for X, I'm pretty sure most of them are. All of them might. Add on my C3-8M. If not, don't add it. Um, also, I have a lot of new engines coming soon for Canadian National. And remember that CN100 I caught it yesterday? I was actually surprised it was a 4K video, by the way. I might actually make uh, that train, although I'm not sure if I'm actually going to make the exact locomotive. I probably will. Is it, I'm, always, I'm probably going to also build the same type just without the 100 as well. I'm pretty sure it was 3126 or 3216. I forget, but if you watch my video, you'll see it. There's also already images in Google for it. It's probably new. Maybe CN's 100 years now. It's 100th anniversary, maybe? I don't know too much about when railroads were created, but railroads are mostly steam train when they start because back for like a long time ago, like probably hundreds of years from now, there were only like steam trains around. There was actually no freight trains like this. So freight trains are different in countries, so yeah, anyway. Let's continue the train. So anyway, after we have this shape, let's go to the top middle one and make it 34 blocks long. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. And then add um, another 2 by 3. Uh, 
with one on the top corners. And add another brick stairs in the bottom corners. And add like two black concrete here on both sides down here. And make the second one a two by five, like this. Same thing on the other side. Like so. And then add the oak slab staircase like this. I saw this video with unnerving images with Minecraft cave sounds, eerie noises, whatever. <laughs> it was so creepy, especially for cave sound number 10. It was so creepy. You literally have nightmares if you saw it. Like, I'm probably legit gonna have nightmares. No, I actually saw it yesterday, but I'm surprised I didn't even have nightmares last night and I fell asleep. But man, the more I think about it, the more I could have nightmares. Either way, make them out part three blocks wide. I'm sorry if my voice is a little, <laughs> you know. Um, it's probably because it's like. 10 in the morning, if I was going to say 10 in the afternoon, you're wrong, but I actually probably have recorded a video at 10 in the afternoon before, yeah I did, with my Santa Fe FP45, remember that train I built the tutorial on, right here at the very end, well actually it was like 10 a.m., not 10 a.m., 10 p.m., and it was recorded. I, don't, I can't even imagine what time it was posted. Probably went to bed around 11 that night. I don't even know. Either way, I'd like, what? Let's get nether brick slab. I mean, oak slab, not nether brick slab. Correction right there. I mean, with the oak slab, I'd like nine going back on both sides. So it's one. I mean, not one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fall by the same thing in the back part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I actually do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like that. Another nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm a little itchy this morning. I have lots of bug bites everywhere and they sting really bad, so yeah. I kinda have to deal with it. I literally hate mosquitoes so much. They're the whole reason my bug bites sting so bad. Cause, you know, I kinda suck blood I think for food. Sorry I have to talk about it, but it's true. She's probably white skin so bad. Either way, we don't need to talk about it. It's not a learning channel. <laughs> it's a tutorial channel for Minecraft. For really cool trains. <laughs> oh, wait, I just realized a mistake here. I'll have to fix that. Thank goodness I didn't do a tutorial yet. Or, I'm not actually going to fix it right now because it's still actually a real tutorial. You guys are going to be watching this right now. Alright, anyway. Okay, we don't even need to get anything new. We already have the materials from, we need for this. So anyway, I'd like three black concrete down here. Right after this oak slab row. And I'd like another nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Mm. A couple of the most creepiest cave sounds, in my opinion. I kind of. I'm. I'm mostly afraid of like cave sound number ten. If you look up cave sound number ten, that one's like really creepy. I think cave sound number one or number two is actually kind of creepy as well. Okay, we better stop talking about cave sounds before I start rushing again, like some of my other tutorials. 
Or actually rush so I don't have to worry about eerie noises. I'm pretty sure they're actually turned off. So my subtitles, so we don't have to worry about it. Alright, anyway, add like upside down nether brick stairs. And from the back part add like two black concrete. And on the front add three. Followed by two nether brick stairs on both sides. And an oak slab. So I'm taking deep breaths, so I'm not so worried and scared about the eerie noises. Like, some people comment stuff like, Everybody gangsta, till cave sound number 3 and number 10 play. <laughs> cave sound number 3, it's kind of creepy, but not that creepy. I kind of like cave sound number 3, even though I forget how it sounds. I mean, not in the game, but just hearing it, I guess. It's fine. And knowing what the eerie sounds really are, the cave sounds are, I guess it's not too worryful. Like, for example, cave sound number 10, I think it's a screeching violin. And what reminds me so much about, like, mini rockets taking off. I don't even know why. It's just something weird that my brain first comes up with when I hear that sound, I guess. And I can't really explain why that happens, but either way, we've been talking so much in this video that we need to get to the point where we build the train. I swear if my voice is so quiet you can hardly hear it. I probably should have been quiet in my first tests. Because I'm probably going to want to stop at any time. Just so I can literally see how loud my voice was. Alright, the wheels details are kind of weird in this. I feel like the one right next to here should be extended out. But I think it actually kind of looks good to have weird details for some reason. Um, but anyway, I'd like what? Two hoppers starting from like the front part here. I'd like... Two, I guess. Followed by stone bricks, so I'm going to send it out. Two hoppers. You know, something I'm concerned about the case sounds. I don't even know why they spawn in super flat worlds. Maybe because in default worlds, that's where a cave would be. And that just spawns. Although it can happen anywhere. One of my least favorite spots that happen is in the end and in the nether, too. Or when I'm flying, you don't even hear it, which is why well, sometimes like to, which is why I'd probably love to stand still instead of flying everywhere. Just when an eerie noise plays, I fly away from it. And what's even creepier about that is that then you know it's somewhere and hidden in your world, and you can't even collect it or capture it or anything, and it's lost in your world, and it's just terrifying. Uh, just what we need. Dumpster noises outside of things getting thrown in dumpsters. Or even dumpster diving. I don't, I don't think many people in the world would have tried to even attempt that. Because after a great sounds really disgusting. I don't even know why I'm talking about dumpsters. Well, actually I do. It's because of the dumpster noises outside of I can already tell it's not dumpster diving. Alright, anyway, I'd like some slab that extends out. And then add like black stained glass pane that goes out of the hoppers. It's my new hopper reel design. God, my tutorial is so slow. Alright, now. Now let's start with the cab. So let's get red wool, block of quartz, some birch buttons, some acacia and nether brick stairs, some black carpet, some dark oak signs, some white dye, um, and black stained glass block. And soon we're gonna need our door banner stuff as well because Door banner is honestly really necessary.
And anyway, I'd like a row five red wool, followed by um two um. If you don't have the B XBCOL on the bottom, go back by like seventh red wool, like this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But if you do, um, actually don't add like. Make sure there's like three from both, and then the middle two are block quartz. And on the other side, I don't even know if there is some. Um, there probably is. But on my original train, I don't think I actually did. So, yeah. It's on one side, it's not for the other. On your number. And honestly, just do whatever details you need to add to make it look as realistic as possible. Because all that matters is how realistic it is. And of course, you guys building it. You guys probably love having all kinds of awesome trains. So. That's why I like to produce lots of tutorials. Alright, anyway, I'd like another, what? Four? I don't know, I've lost count. Okay. Actually, from the front, I'd like six here, I guess. Because it was like four on top of the bucket of quartz for XCOL. If I start talking a little louder, I just. So that nobody barges into the room and like, oops, we interrupted your tutorial. <laughs> I realize, and then uh, I can't post it. So I better talk, start talking loud. Um, probably already realized. And anyway, I'd like six red wool on both sides. I've been talking so much I've lost track that I'm even doing a tutorial. <laughs> So really, I better get um, getting to work. All right. Anyway, I'd like two red wool sides here, with a block of quartz in the middle. And um, another detail I'd like. Sometimes my computer gets slow, like, remember the 4K stuff? I was just thinking about how old my channel is. Also, I have, like, three red wool here at the Acacia Stairs. If you're wondering what I was thinking about why my channel is so old, I don't even know what I was thinking about it. My channel is, like, over two years old. Oh, my God, it's 10 away a.m. And eight. Alright, anyway, I'd like what another brick stairs going back a block. So I'd like two block of quartz here, and everywhere else, add like red wool for these rows. You don't have to on the inside here, though. I just did sort of make the steps a little easier for you guys to follow, I guess, since you guys probably want to build this in your world. Now get like black stained glass block here and place two like this. Now a little t-shape with red wool here, one on the side there. Two black stained glass block, a red wool, and add like Three going back here, followed by an acacia stairs in the front, and actually everywhere else. There's another brick stairs. I do lots of CN trains because they're basically what you see here. Um, also, remember that train catch? I think almost every other engine has a tutorial. There is an SD70 ACE, but I forgot the number. So for AC, but I don't have a tutorial for that, but Crafty Fox does. He has lots of awesome trains, too. You should go subscribe to him. Crafty Fox makes lots of awesome trains, which is why I don't do some trains, like the CNG Evolution. See, he has one. I think that's good enough.
So don't request me to like use proper AC. Otherwise, I'll probably just give you a link to his tutorial because he has really good chains. But anyway, um, add like a two by three black carpet in the front. Followed by what? Um, we're going to get some. Okay, we don't need these stairs anymore. First of all. Let's get our black concrete and replace all these red walls with black carpet. I mean, concrete. <laughs> um, and add black carpet above all this red wool. And actually explains a bit about why I said black carpet. We were really about to use it. Anyway, add like birch buttons. We have a bit to do with them. So add a couple here. With a birch button right here. And, um, um, that might be it for the birch buttons with the cab, but we could actually put it, like, in here. It probably wouldn't last for long, considering the fact clear command exists. And then there's this birch button. I thought I was supposed to be kept. <laughs> Well, at least there's something funny there. Because your clear command is going to get rid of the birch button. This train has a lot of white too than normal because normal sand trains have like black railings. This one actually has like white railings. It's a little different, but sometimes it's a little cool. There's birch buttons everywhere that's white. The sand logo that's white. The numbers are yeah, white. The XPCOL thing is white. The white stripe here. The white back logo. The white on the sides here. This train has a lot of white. And this world thingy here is almost white too. Although it's not quite, it's actually light gray. But anyway, um. Wait, I just noticed something. On this side, there's actually two red wool, but I realized on this side, there's actually one. So make sure you remove one for that. Alright, now grab two blocks of quartz and build it right here. And then on the other side, actually just add what, one. Like so. You actually notice me reposting the CNGF-643 C. That's because I actually missed the bottom parts here, like the wheels and most of this part here. So I actually reposted it and deleted the first one. I didn't even private it, I deleted it. I actually have like two KCS trains, but I didn't know how to delete, so now I privated one of them and left. Another one of them. So now most of you guys won't be able to see my private version. I'm probably going to delete the private version just in case. <laughs> um, anyway, I think that's enough of the cab. Let's see, I had like three right here, I guess. And like three block of quartz here. And another three there. And I think we should go to the back. So on the back, I'm going to add like one red wool here, and then a block of quartz for the CN logo, and then three red wool. And on the other side, we're going to get iron bars. There's some weird thing here. I don't know what they are. On the outside of the white logo, we'll add two iron bars. And row back here actually had like four red wool this time. Oh, by the way, guys, soon this train's gonna have a tutorial. Might be my next train right here, my C4 8M or W, I'm pretty sure it was probably W. Yeah, it was. It was a C4 8W. 
and I started doing a tutorial on it in like a year ago in August 2018. Oh, by the way, I think my channel is a year old now, so. Well, not my channel, it's actually. My first video is a year old now, I'm pretty sure. So, happy birthday. Happy birthday to my first YouTube video. Nine years later. Happy 10th birthday to my, uh, my first video. It was actually my wheeling in, like, Eerie Part 1. And I actually said another tutorial. I'm pretty sure it was one of my BNSF trains. Thank you so much for 100 views on it. Um, I'm still very proud of it. <laughs> And as soon as I get lots of views of dirt biking videos and all kinds of crazy things, it should have like so many views. It'll be countless. So, yeah. Now, anyway, I'm gonna stop talking about these and just do the tutorial. Do like what three black concrete here and then two by three and then three by four, four going up and three wide like that. I actually add and that's like five blocks this time. Three by five, four by another two there. And let's get our bedrock and add like two right here and there. Black carpet on the sides. And add like two bedrock like this with two black concrete. And with the black concrete, we're actually, let's get some other brick stairs, another brick slab, followed by black concrete. And some light gray concrete and black carpet. Well, there's some really loud talking down there. I bet you guys can even hear it. <laughs> but anyway, let's get some nether brick stairs. And add like three right here. It's a two by three of nether brick slab. It's actually kind of good. I'm talking so much. Because it actually gives you guys a minute to do what you're supposed to do in the video. Which is actually kind of good, in my opinion. Anyway, on the side here, at a dark oak front gate, hold shift, and underneath it, try to get the hitbox and out of black concrete underneath it. Alright, I might go deal with the loud talking key. It's actually ruining my video a little bit. If you guys um, start channeling, you'll probably understand why. So, we'll be right back in just a moment. Alright guys, we're back. You shouldn't hear too much talking now, but... Anyway, if we do, it shouldn't be as noisy as before. Because it's still talking, it's just not as loud. That's the problem anyway. Wait, we gotta count this. I think that's like 10. Let me do a, a double check just to make sure because I don't want to make any mess ups. Let's go back by like 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Also, if I, I forgot to tell you which block, use the black concrete. I'll get another. Something's going off my mouse and it's really weird. Either way, I'd like more another brick slab around it. And actually leave another block like that. Because we're gonna have like great concrete with a black carpet above. And I'd like nine other brick stairs. We don't even need to count it. We just need to do it till there's no block here because there's actually no nether brick stair there. It's actually an oak stair. I mean, not an oak, an acacia stair. So I'd like an acacia stair here. And directly copy, like, mirror the same thing the other side. Nine nether brick stairs. An acacia stair. 
add like two acacia slab here. Same thing the other side. And we're gonna get bedrock. Now like two here, leave a block, two there, leave a block, two there. And directly copy the same thing the other side. And I just realized we gotta skip like one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three. Alright, we can add like eight rows after this, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. And then we've got like five rows left. I'm gonna do the same thing the other side. And even fill in the area where the bedrock is as well. Like this. It's actually what it should look like. And we should still add some here as well because that's easier to get the stairs and slabs on. And there's not as many holes in it either. There's no holes. And either way, um. Now after that, we actually need to add the logo, so, got like, um, oh by the way, you did, I loved your CN logo so much, I thought it was so cool, I, th I thought I'd make dreams similar to him, because there's so many requests on him that I decided to start making trains too, they're not exactly the same though, which is good, because I'm not directly copying, like, every train otherwise that'd be copyright I'm still a little worried about how I use similar ideas though but at least um, I'm not directly copying the train because otherwise like I said that'd be copyright and I'd probably get demonetized so I actually build like um I do add some different details though, like birch buttons everywhere and stuff, because I feel like bur buttons do a good job also. But also, Crafty Fox had the idea, but I think we both came up with it. Either way, Crafty Fox has really good trains. Like I said, you should go subscribe to him. Oh, I forgot to add like red concrete here. Make sure you add the logo like this. I'll tell you how to do it on the other side. So add this like upside down L shape. Basically a T shape without the right line here. And then basically add stuff like this. Before I started making trains, I was always a huge fan of Crafty Fox because he had so many cool trains. So I tried to come up with trains, and back at the time, I didn't know how commissions actually worked, and I thought players had to, like, build trains in the server, and if you liked it, then you could, then you would give out a tutorial, but later I actually learned how it worked. But either way, back when I thought it was the other way, in a different world, I used to build, like, trains that... Now I would think are super ugly compared to the ones I do now. Cause they were not even near Crafty Fox style. I think I actually tried to do this Burlington Northern train, but I didn't end up doing a really good job. Like it was really bad. I didn't really know what Crafty Fox style kind of worked. And how I'd build trains so much of it. And mine ended up being super ugly back in the day. Now they look so much better. Because I spend much more time doing it than I normally would. Mostly because it's really fun to build them. And it's even funner to make a tutorial. Unless I have ear noises. The sound of cave sound. The thought of cave sounds, I mean. Trapped in my head. <laughs> then I start to go a little crazy videos although now I probably would try to prevent it like right now I try to take my mind off it at best either way I've been talking so much this video is like almost 40 minutes long 
And we're not even close to having the railing done yet. Well, I guess we are kind of close, but we still have a lot to do. Oh, remember when we got the birch buttons earlier from the cab? And I said to keep it, but I'd probably get rid of it with the clear command. I'm surprised I haven't yet, so that means I can literally add the birch buttons now because we have most of the wall done. So either way, we're going to add like three birch buttons here, just as little details like that. And I actually just realized we need acacia buttons too, but I'm only going to really use it like once, so... And that's on the other side. Anyway, add, like, leave a block from here. Add one, leave a block, and then add a birch button. And on these corners here, add more. Also, if you guys have subscribed, thank you so much. I post content every day now, I guess. Remember the back in the day when my first video was made? A, well, back in the day, I mean like a year ago. Like in those days, I used to have to post every Sunday, which thinking about now would really suck, and I'd probably. Well, luckily, I do now post every day, which is really good, so. And I'm glad I actually do different content every day so that I'm not, so that eventually I run out of trains. And that I can't do train content anymore unless I build trains and then showcase it. But now we still have a long feature of trains ahead of us. We have passenger cars that can be built, more passenger engines. Also, my next train might actually be a VRL F40PH. I almost convinced myself to do it today, but I'm not quite ready yet. Now, this train actually has hopper wheels. If you notice that, it's because this train was actually really old. It was made around when I expanded my world just a little bit. I started expanding it just a little bit, and then I had this VRL, and man, it's super old oh man I probably add a bit more details now but honestly now I wouldn't even dare to change it I think this actually looks good and it looks ready to be done for a tutorial I may have to just fix the signs but really that's it everything else will be fine I might actually add an extra LRC car and probably may not so We'll just remove this sign and change it to VRL. I'll fix it after the video. For now, I'm not actually going to deal with it. Also, notice how all the item frames are gone now, which is why I messed up my BNSF train. It probably messed up my GP3-2 as well. It probably messed up every train. Like, this could actually have item frames. So now I'm probably going to have to cut the video at the end just to make sure. Okay, this tutorial is longer than any other one. We better start stop talking. <laughs> we better stop talking, I mean. And get working, because I, this video is really long. I've mostly been talking in it. So sorry if I'm actually a little faster now. <gasps> That's because the tutorial is hardly anything. We have a bunch of buttons to add, so why not add it? Add one above that block of quartz there. Add one like right here. Another one diagonal from that. Add one here. An acacia button there actually. And then another three birch buttons there. And with a black banner, basically just add one like right here on both sides. Like so. Oops, actually placed it there by accident. But don't actually do it on your version. So when my back just got stuck to the back of the chair, and that wasn't good. If any of my trains have end rods instead of, shoot, I'm really tired. And instead of what I was saying, instead of item frames, I'd add item frames on them now. 
It's just because my own fans are glitching out. Well, 1.4 is being made. The making. I was using the snapshots in this world, and it ended up messing up all the item frames. So now most of the item frames are gone, unless I replace them. Or the tutorial is new. It's mostly because the, the tutorial would be new. It probably would start happening around March or April. Maybe in a SD70 Mac tutorial, I actually had to make an extra because of it. Because of the light glitch, so I'm gonna try not to let it be effective in this one. Um, it probably happened to this train too, which really sucks if it did because. And now, you guys will have to be in charge of the lights for most of these trains. They don't have a tutorial for the lights. Like you'll have to see if there's any on the back or the front. If there are, then add it. Um, actually, um, we'll probably have to make important announcements for 1.14 if that happens. And then I get red wool, and no wonder why the train doesn't look very close to the front one. That's because I forgot the red wool there for the bell. We're also gonna make the door banner, and if you already have it, just collect the block. If not, follow these steps. We already had the black banner from having had it. Then just get the loom and two red dye. If you don't have the black banner, then you'll have to re-get it again. Which would kind of suck, in my opinion. And then we had a black banner there and two red dye here. With a black banner. Like a red border. And the halfway up stuff there. And then a couple, like, right. Oops. Uh, accidentally destroyed the acacia stairs. Add it here. And here. I'm sorry, not there. Here, I meant. There's a mistake that we need to fix. Oh, it just happened, so don't judge me, I guess. Anyway, get the nether brick slab, the triple hooks, and the yellow carpet. And build the coupling here. With the yellow carpet above. And also add the coupling on the back as well. Followed by birch fence, acacia fence. And add birch fence on the sides. With acacia fence. Oh, and by the way, we're going to get rid of all this, because we need to get our white carpet, our nether brick fence too, our string, our quartz stairs, and then we're going to place like another brick fence right here, and another here, followed by a quartz stairs, and I just get rid of the red wool. Place a string here, with white carpet above. I'm gonna build two bird fence here in the back part with the acacia fence there. And then a white carpet above this. And it doesn't really matter, I guess, because the railing's already white. Just with black stuff. I probably messed it up, and it's actually the other way. I don't even know. I'm definitely going to be looking things up. Once we got the rolling done on this side, I'm going to add it to the other side. So, let's actually do the same thing on the other side with the rolling. So, add another brick fence there with a string in between. Port stairs, the brick fence, weaving block, keep doing it. They're pretty much symmetrical for the railing. Just some of the details are not on this train. But I guess the most of it is asymmetrical. 
the railing and the cab almost. I'm not even sure about the cab still, but you guys are in charge of what number you use because I'm not going to do a tutorial for like every number. I'd probably make this tutorial like an hour and a half long probably. So there's so many numbers I, I can't even keep track of them all. No. Even for the number I'm doing tutorial on, you should probably look it up because there probably are details. I didn't do properly for it. Sorry, I just had stuff on my sleeve now and like had it was loose and I couldn't get it off so I had to clearly play it off. Um I do bite my nails but I should stop because sometimes I end up cutting it so low that it hurts. Like right now with my one of my thumbnails, so I literally need to stop. I've had that habit since I was probably a few years old. I think I've been doing it since I was four years old, so literally, yeah. Uh, I've been doing it for a long time. I'm not doing an age reveal at the moment. I probably will soon, but I'm not right now. But just giving you a hint. I'm not four years old. You can probably already tell because do you think a four year old could build this in Minecraft? Well, um, some four year olds probably could be impressive, but I probably won't be able to do anything like this when I was four years old. I didn't even have Minecraft then, so. I'm also not telling you what age I was at a year. It could be a long, long time before I actually do my age reveal, my face reveal. Um, anyway, I add like three nether bricks to lab under here, and just one here. Thanks to this Acacia stuff here. And the rest is upside down of the brick stairs. We actually need to add like double another brick slab there like that. And then build like five and then double another brick slab with some on top following that off. And I'm pretty sure we're almost done. And at this point, um I'm pretty sure all we need to do now is basically add numbers at the back, like So, we basically need to get our numbers, obviously. I think we forgot to do in the front. Yep, we did. Let's get their goat signs and white dye. And then type in your number, pressing an enter. I did 2508, so if you were doing that as well, do it. But you guys probably need to do some details. Where, like, there's probably an XBCL on both sides in this world thing. Well, it probably doesn't. I'm not even sure you guys can take care of it if you're building it. If you're just watching the tutorial yourself, then I don't even know what to say. Uh, we're going to do 2508 on the other side as well. I don't know if you guys are going to believe me, but on Spotify, you know Spotify, I have a playlist that has like over 700 songs, I think. You probably don't believe me, but... Okay, th I just found out, this is literally my longest video on my channel. 50 minutes long. Wow. That is pretty intense. <laughs> I feel bad for the people who are trying to build this and it's like an hour long. 
Although I've seen tutorials that are like hours and upon hours long. I've seen pixel art tutorials that are so big and detailed that they're like what? Six hours long? I bet you guys know who that is. Um, I'm going to pause the video so I can look up on Google where the lights are and probably different details as well that we forgot. So we'll be right back in just a moment. Alright, so I looked it up and we added various different details. So I also found out the bell is actually black with a red top. We need plenty of lights. So first of all, we need to add item frames on the front part with a white stained glass block. One up here. We place the bell with a black wool and a red carpet above. In the back part, we need to add an item frame with a white stained glass block up there. Now if it's actually double, I'm pretty sure it's a singular one, but if it's double then on your number on the back, then add an open Venscape. The last thing we need to do for this tutorial is press F1 and make the thumbnail. So after that, that will be the end of the tutorial. I'll get two just in case. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in my next train video, which will be a Via Rail F40PH. It's not just going to be a train video. Tomorrow there's a survival series. I'm probably going to be reposting a bunch of trains. But anyway guys, see you soon. Bye.